Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In today's episode, I'm gonna give you a top 10 list of websites you probably didn't know existed, but they're really awesome and you should know about them. What's that? Oh, that's my shadow. <laughs> it's like, what is that big thing behind me? First on the list is a website called Flourish, which enables you to do beautiful and easy data visualization and storytelling. All I know about is that I keep seeing these on Reddit where they do uh well, like which country is the best so they do this cool animated graph uh but yeah you could replicate this and post it on reddit and become popular and collect all the karma number two is actually mind-blowing let's take a look at this so Synthesia lets you create professional grade looking videos using ai so you just basically add your text and it's going to create a presentation for you automatically with voice and all that good jazz, and it's so realistic. Dev Ed doesn't post enough React videos, and that makes me very, very, very angry. Why? Why do you do this to me? I have reached out to you, and you haven't helped me with my coding project. Number three on the list is called Hot Pot. If you want to do anything with images, this is the website for you. Whether it's removing a background, colorizing from black to white, from black to white, colorizing black and white to color, <laughs> or adding a stylized look to your pictures. Let's take a look really quick. So let's try uh, one of the basic ones, which is remove BG. So let's go over here. We'll take Maxine. You know, sometimes you just don't want to go into Photoshop and do all of that jazz. And let's take a look. That is pretty good. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try finding uh, like an old, just destroyed picture with scratches on it and see if it can restore it properly. <laughs> That's not the type of old picture. I wasn't like like an old picture. I'm like an old like that. Ugh, that is gross. That is gross. Oh, would you really want to live if you look like that? So number four on the list is called Logo. Just Logo. Logo.com. How lucky did they get with their domain name? Goodness sakes, plus sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. So this allows you to generate your own logo uh, using AI. And it does a really good job because usually when you try these out, they give you a very generic set list of logos, even though like you can add the title Goose, right? And it has nothing to do with it. It just puts a tech company logo that's basic so let's give it a, let's give it a shot shall we so i'm gonna say uh, happy pickle so i'm using this one because maxine is actually starting her own illustration business with prints and t-shirts and everything and that's the logo that's the company name that we picked uh more on that later on look at that that's not bad either voice crack activate Look at that, we wasted loads of times coming up with our own logo. And then we have cool logos being generated here. Not this one, like this. Not this one, where was it? <laughs> I lost it, let me show you. Let me show you. That's a cool one, with the jar. But this one's quite cute, isn't it? Ours is still the best, but it can give you a good idea to get inspired by. Because it also gives you like how it would look as a like different templates and stuff like that. Next up on the list, if you want to erase shite off your pictures, use Magic Eraser, it's really good. So all you need to do is drag an image in. Let's do this one with Maxine and the dog. Drag it in there. Dog stressing you out? Does the dog give you any issues? There's no more problems. <laughs> Just kind of she didn't get rid of me. <laughs> Done. Now it looks like she's just holding a ghost dog. Spooky! <laughs> Creepy man stalking you? No problem. <laughs> Boom, done. <laughs> <laughs> Zero problems. <laughs> Next up on the list, if you're really bored and you want to see what AI can do, you can write some text in and it's going to generate an image for you. So let's try it out, see if it works. Uh, I'll just do a magician. And wow, look at that magician with two faces. I'm dying. Help me. Okay, what should I put next? Um... Come here. No. Show off your tan. <laughs> she got a spray tan. 
Guys, come see. It went wrong. Scottish troll. Scottish troll. About Mr. Worldwide with hair. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. So Mr. Again, I just gave you the suggestion. Okay. Mr. Worldwide with hair. Oh, that's a good one. Mr. Worldwide with hair. You haven't mentioned this before to me. It's off the cuff. Mr. Worldwide with hair. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> Can you pick the one with the nose? Which one with the nose? Okay, next on the list is a more serious one, but a really, really helpful one. It's called Pexels, and they have royalty-free images and videos for creators out there. So it's, it's just such a fantastic tool. Uh, if you want to add images to your websites or videos, or if you want to use it for thumbnails or anything of that sort, sometimes even as a B-roll for your videos, if you're into that type of stuff, into videography, filmography, whatever you call it. Uh, but one of my favorite things is that it's all like all of the pictures are taken with a pro camera. My voice, what's wrong with my voice? Uh, yeah, so you get Canon and Fuji quality pictures, but not only that, you can pick a smaller size if you want to. So if you add it to your website, right, maybe it's just a small thumbnail. You don't want that to be a 10 megabyte file. What's wrong with my voice? Um, and the videos here are fantastic too. <laughs> this is not. Uh, <laughs> and another great feature is that uh, you can filter out if you want vertical or horizontal. I'm just gonna get through this part right now the way it is. So here we go. We have that cute image right there. All right, we can download the quality, blah, blah, blah. We can go to filters and do horizontal videos only, right? So really easy, really fun. That's Pexels for you. Another really helpful website that I use tons is called File Converter. This is one of the most used websites for me. Every time I make a video and I wanna just make from an MP4 to an MP3 or take a JPEG, turn it into a PNG, literally any format, you can just upload here and do that. I can pick this image, boom, and I can convert it to, look at that, look at that, literally gives you all the formats there. It's really quick, really fun. And last but not least, at number 10, we have developed by ed.com. I know. If you're interested in learning web development, JavaScript skills, React skills, or full stack web development, check out all the courses here. We even have an awesome one on JavaScript animations. And I have a coupon code 15% dev on that one. So check it out, check out all the courses. That's gonna be it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And let me know if you guys want more. And until later, take care. Peace out from me, Maxine. And yeah, that's it.